Hello everybody. I am Shotika, Assistant Professor at SNSB Spine, IT Strategic Management. In this lecture series, we have been discussing about strategic implementation process. This particular video is on designing strategic control systems. Strategic control systems will help us monitor and adjust the implementation of strategy so that we are able to achieve the desired outcomes. So they give us with feedback and give us a scope and allow us to take any corrective action that is needed to keep the organization on track. So there are different types of strategic controls. There's financial control, there's output control, there's behavioral control, and there is clan control. So financial controls, uh, this involves financial metrics like return on investment, ROE, and profit margin to monitor the overall finan financial performance of the organization. So, regular financial reporting and analysis are crucial for any type of organizations. Say, for example, monthly financial statements may be used to track revenue and expenses against the planned budget. The next control is output control. Output control focuses on measurable results. So, here we set performance targets and benchmarks and we make sure we are working up to the accomplishment of the target or benchmark. So here we regularly review our outcomes against the goals. For example, sales targets for each quarter can be decided well in advance. And after the completion of the quarter, we may decide on, I mean, we'll, we may review and see whether we, we accomplished on the targets and benchmarks that we set for ourselves. The third is behavioral control. Behavioral control involves establishing rules, procedures, and policies to guide employee behavior. So, this includes performance appraisal, supervision, etc. So, behavioral control ultimately aims at having a healthier workforce, a workforce that is well disciplined, a workforce that is performing efficiently, and, and a workforce that is working with less conflicts. Say, for example, code of conduct, performance reviews, and employee handbooks fall under the category of behavioral control. Clan control refers to leveraging organizational culture shared values and beliefs to influence behavior. So this involves creating a sense of belongingness to the organization. It involves creating a belief in employees that they are a part of the organization. They are representing the organization and the organization is important to them and they are important to the organization at the same time. So clan control aims at fostering a strong cohesive company culture. For example, Creating a culture of innovation through team building activities and recognition programs is a good example of clan control. So, how do we implement these control systems? It's very important that we integrate the control system into the overall strategic management process. We may also have to make sure that the control systems are flexible, timely, and are relevant to the changing conditions. So, we may use a balanced scorecard. Uh, so that we are able to track all the financial and non-financial metrics at the same time. So when it comes to control systems, it's very important that we are not going overboard also. We shouldn't make the employees or we shouldn't make the team feel that we are controlling them. But there has to be some control. So it has to operate on an intelligent basis. Uh, ultimately, control aims at continuous improvement. So through strategic control system, we aim at continuously growing and improving. Therefore, this control system has to be dynamic and adaptable. This control system should be in a way that it changes with the needs of the employees and it changes with the needs of the ecosystem. There has to be regular review and refinement process for the control systems based on feedback and performance data. We may have to conduct annual reviews of control systems so that we make sure they are effective and are aligned with our strategic goals. So I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding the role of control systems, the four different types of control systems and the importance they hold with respect to strategic implementation process. So like we discussed, any control system and monitoring system would have to ultimately focus on the continuous improvement of the organization. So at any point, if we feel that the particular control system that we are exerting was giving a negative impact on the overall organization performance, we should also be ready to pull back that control. So it's, it doesn't mean once I've exerted a control, I have to stay by it till the end. So if we feel a particular control mechanism was ineffective, we'll definitely have to 
refrain ourselves from taking it forward. So I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding about the different strategic control systems. I'll catch you soon with another interesting content. Thank you.